Hello, welcome back to Dr. Latanya Gregory, The Giver's YouTube channel. Today, I want to go a step further and show you a little bit more about the beaded number line. What I have before you is the 100 beaded number line and each of these beads, they are organized in sets of tens and each 10 has their own colors so that children can easily see how a 10 is made. I also have with me a 100s chart and a number line just to help us feel more, more safe with math. I'm gonna solve four problems for you today. An addition problem, a multiplication problem, a subtraction problem, and a division problem. These are the four basic areas that students must have a strong foundation in so they can do math well. Let me begin. Um, first of all, I have my clothespins to my left, so you may see me reaching to the floor because the clothespins are gonna be an important, an important part of our video. If you wanted to model, or if your child were to ever bring home this type of problem, 42 minus 13, hmm. He can't subtract, she can't subtract, parents getting frustrated. If you use the beaded number line, this is an easy fix. Watch this. We already know how the beaded number line is organized in sets of tens. I could count by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I know that's an entire set for one color. I need 42. 10, 20, 30, 40, and then I'm going to get two more orange because remember, I need 42. And I don't mind that the excess hangs off. I'm going to add one clothespin after 42. Now, I need to take away 13 without using a pencil or without regrouping or without going to your neighbor and borrowing a 10 because that's hard for many children. Watch this. I'm just going to count 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And add a clip. My difference lies here. Just by looking at my colors, I have three sets of colors. Now, I don't have a full set of three, so I know that... My difference has to be 42 minus 13 equals 10, 20, 29. Without using a pencil, without borrowing from my neighbor, without getting frustrated, the beaded number line allowed me to solve 42 minus 13 with ease. Let me show you now how we can do a multiplication problem with the beaded number line. All I do is remove my clips. Put them back together again and start at 100. The next one we're going to practice is 3 times 8. Many children don't know their multiplication facts, but guess what? The beaded number line is going to solve that. So 3 times 8. This can be done. 3 groups of 8s is what I'm going to represent. 3 groups of 8s. So my beaded number line again. I have to show three at least eight times. That's a three. And then I would put my clip. Another three. I would add my clip. Another three. I would add my clip. I need to show eight threes throw. I need to show eight threes here. One set, two set, three. I just add some more clips on the table. Now, Notice that I am running uh, two colors together, but that doesn't matter because I'm still doing the operation. Let's check one, two, three, four, five. Notice I'm trying to get to eight. And notice what I'm doing. I'm just going ahead and put an extra set of threes out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And my last three would be here. Don't worry about that. What I didn't do was I should have given it some more slack on this end, but that's okay. 
Go back in the middle and add your beaded, your paper, your uh, clothespin. Okay. So here we go. Let's get, let's regroup, get ourselves together. My beads are falling off the table, but that's okay. Now they're back on and we're ready to go. Three times eight. I should have shown three eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Finally, I made it. Huh. Well, how do they know what the um, answer is? Well, you remove all of these paper clothespins and your answer lies within. So I kind of connect my beads and then I go 10, 20. I don't have the full 10, so I know that one, two, three, four. Three times eight equals 24. No frustration. I didn't get angry. I didn't have to borrow, regroup, add, or subtract. I visually looked at my beads and were able to come up with 24. Do you think that the beaded number line is something easy to use? Yes, it is. This is a tool that every child should have. So we practice um, subtraction. We practice multiplication. Now let's practice a little bit of addition. Here, 13 plus 16. Very easy. I'm going to show you 13 and then I'm going to add 16 to that. Well, again, here I am. 10 plus 3 more is 13. I've added my paper, my clothespin. I'm going to add 16 more starting with the very next number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then I add my clip. I have represented 13 plus 16 for you. I am now going to remove the clip after my first number and I'm going to combine my other beads and this will give me my total. 10, 20. I know it's not all, so 10, 20, and 9 is 29. So 13 plus 16 equals 29. Do you see how easily the beaded number line helps me to add without regrouping, without borrowing? One more problem, and then we are done. Sometimes children struggle with division. 54 divided by nine. Oh my God, those nine times tables and our nine, nine divisions could be frustrating. Not with the beaded number line. Let me show you. Because I wanted to already have some of this pre-prep, I'm going to switch to my other beads. Same thing. I've already marked our 54. That's my starting point. So I went through all of my numbers and went at 54. Now I need to separate it and put it into groups of nines. This is where division and equal subtraction comes in. This is where children can conceptually see what division is all about. Now, I am going to move my beads around before I add my clothespins. Now, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That could be nine. One, two, three, four. That's a nine. Okay. And notice that I just kind of adjust. I'm going to go ahead and try to add a paper, a clothespin to separate my nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what you're seeing happening to me is I'm not getting enough slack on the end. So just make sure you pull your beads so that the clothespin doesn't keep moving. So I'm going to continue to uh, count nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we are with our equal grouping. This is my 54. This is my starting point. Now, how many clothespins do I have there will give me how many groups of nines there are in 54? One, two, three, four, five, and right here would be six. So there are seven groups of nine and 54. 
The beaded number line is a concrete tool that will help children in all grade levels master math well.